you are trapped in your most hated person's body, you have 48 hours to ruin their life. You may not kill or be killed. What will you do? Punch his boss. Set fire to his desk at work. Piss on it to put it out. Make a video jerking off and post it to Facebook. Send detailed death threats to politicians from his personal email. Go to the pub. Get drunk. Drive. Crash his car into a cop car. Resist arrest as hard as I can, assaulting cops if I have to. Verbally abuse the cops all the way back to the station. Shit on the cell floor and roll in it. Hug the toughest guy in there, making sure he gets poop on him. Edit. Gotta do the annoying cliche edit to thank everyone for liking my silly revenge ideas so much. Special thanks to those who gave platinum or silver. Edit number two to answer the most common comments. Yes, I was thinking of, like a boss, when I wrote these. No, I would not look at kitty porn ya fucking sickos. Yes, the guy in question is white and elderly, so he could really push his luck with the coppers I reckon. I understand your concerns about the poo and the beatings, but I see it as short-term pain, long-term gain. Holy shit what did this guy do? Didn't put his grocery cart in the cart return corral. So he got the easy way out. Take out a large payday loan. Spend all of it. Destroy the paperwork and reroute the mailing address so they don't know about it until it's hit collections. But they would have a way out through claiming bankruptcy when they catch on. What you really should do is get them a massive student loan for a private predatory university because that shit will follow you until you die. Student loans take more than 48 hours for money access. Bankruptcy doesn't erase the debt. It'll trash their credit score for years, they'll have to forfeit some assets, and it may delay their retirement because they have to climb out of the hole. It can destroy their relationships due to financial irresponsibility. It's about the long game, my friend. What the fuck is a retirement? Photoshop his wife's sister's face onto porn and get caught fapping off to it. Also sign up to loads of gym memberships. Also sign up to loads of gym memberships. Jesus Christ you sick bastard. Can't they just get a new credit card? Edit. Well I learned something about gym memberships. Straight to the bank account buddy. Removed. Removed. Oddly specific. PFFF like you've never infiltrated the Pentagon and rigged it with explosives before. Asterisk edit asterisk. Dear Gov, I didn't add the S indicating sarcasm because its aesthetic and lack of subtlety kills me on the inside. But just in case. S. Cheat on his lover, post it to all social media, gamble all of their money and get an STD. Edit. Okay seriously y'all need to relax this as a what if. You're making me worried. You can do all of that in Vegas in one night. What are you going to do with the other 24 hours? A bunch of drugs I've wanted to try but don't want that shit in my body. I can't be killed so I'll be like Thomas the train on rails of coke while shooting heroin into my dick. Maybe smoke a little crack and chug a bottle of Stoli. Choo choo. Post a bunch of questionable, racist and whatever, stuff on the social media, try to offend literally every one of the close ones. In the end about three minutes before I get back to my own body, I flex seal his butthole and eat a bunch of laxatives. I flex seal his butthole and eat a bunch of laxatives. Now that's a lot of damage. Not to derail but could that kill a person? Does that go against the no-kill rule? If it doesn't, why not go skydiving without a parachute right before you go back? No, their butt will just get really big. Get addicted to heroin or meth. I hope this is the top one. You can eventually dig yourself out of most financial issues assuming you're young enough. Drug addictions are lifelong struggles. You can't really get addicted to heroin or meth in 48 hours though. Not with that attitude. Take out as many loans as I can, spend it all, and destroy the paperwork making it difficult to cancel them. Then I would spend the next 24 hours making as much nasty, degrading, amateur porn videos as I could and release them all over the internet and their personal social media accounts while horrifically insulting every one of my friends and family as I could. The real trick is taking it all in cash and burying it, then picking it up in your body. That is genius, you sound like you've done this before. Inception. This thread is gonna give some wild ideas to some people. On tomorrow's news, half our population is convicted of various crimes. Strangely, the other half hates this half. I can assure you, a lot of people will be hating on a smaller group of people who are hated by many. It won't be a 50-50 split. 
You're not counting the people who hate themselves, plus I imagine any it'd be first come, first serve with any overlap being the second most hated person. People who go to a public place, shit in my hand and proceed to assault people with the turd. Been there, done that. Written via prison vending machine. Twitter for Gucci Smart Toilet. Twitter for D E M G O R N P H O N E Grave. One. Fly to North Korea. Two. Break any law. Edit. Thanks for the silver. Op said you may not be killed. Edit. I had like 200 karmas. Now I have 4K. I don't know what they do, but I will find out. Depending on the law you broke, you might only get tortured for the rest of your life. Technically, if you are forced to drown, you will suffer for the rest of your life. Removed. I'm surprised this isn't higher up, that's years in jail, being fucked over by other inmates and a ruined life when you get out. You don't even have to do anything to the kids. And hopefully they're young enough to forget it happened. The fact the kids would see it is what makes it worse. My own plan was to go to a park and ask all the parents how much it had cost me to asterisk 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 their kids. Don't have to damage kids and still arrested. Bonus points for all the dads that beat me up. The fact that kids would see it is what makes it worse. Kids would just laugh. Some dumb ass waving his willy around, that's the peak of kid level humor. Shove a cactus up my ass. I assume you'd feel their pain though, am I wrong? Yes but I would do it at the last minute so I'll be put back in my own body and it'll be over for me. Would suck if there was a two minute delay in switching back. Not like you could call tech support. Sign up for Scientology, take out a loan and buy all the ranks I can. Good luck getting out of that Cyrus. Fucking Cyrus, what a dick. He probably has work to do. And he failed his grade 10. Thank you kind sir I forgot about that scene until you mentioned it. Facial tattoos. This was my thought too. I would either tattoo horrible things on my enemy's face. A swastika, maybe on of those lady anatomy fruits that look like a vag. Tattoo something grotesque above their privates, I heart little boys or something, IDK, I really don't have any enemies that I hate this much. Maybe a My Little Pony where its ass is the person's mouth. I mean you have 48 hours, why limit yourself, take our loans, commit crimes, get tattoos. I could only imagine the amount of self-harm I could cause if I was actually trying. Commit the crimes once you've got the My Little Pony face tattoo, so you're extra memorable. Use his credit cards to fly to the opposite side of the world, don't tell anyone. Party for a few hours and at 47 to 55, chop off his dick. That seems awfully early. I'd try for 47 to 59. Or better yet, get some local anesthetic first, but just enough to last until the switch. Just imagine doing that. Even if you know you will change in one minute. Persevering face, persevering face, persevering face. Have impeccable timing, make the motion of chopping it off, just milliseconds before switching back, making it inevitable while not hurting yourself. Delete their save files of all their games. When my brother and I were young teens, I deleted his Crash Bandicoot saves and in retaliation he deleted my downloaded Napster library. For the youths that don't recognize what those things are, just know it was all out war. The whole library? Nuke him from orbit. I honestly think that's just fair retaliation. Don't fuck with someone's save files. Jokes aside, that's literally taking time away from people, and it's heartbreaking when people act like it's all a joke to delete a save or power off a console while they're playing. In the middle of class scream, I love you miss, insert teacher name, and then proceed to pleasure myself in front of everyone while screaming nonsense. Go big or go home. Do it in front of entire school either get on the school's roof drop trousers grab junk scream I love it when head teacher rams a cucumber up my ass while beating the ever loving crap out their meat or do it during an assembly rather than just the class. Also might as well decock yourself while you're at it. That's the spirit. If it's on the roof of the school cannonball of the roof. Vaccinate her kids. She'd go ballistic. But you'd be doing the world a favor. The best revenge is wholesome revenge. R. Wholesome revenge. I'm sitting right next to him right now. I would probably streak in the streets on Manchester and remove one or two of my limbs. A limbless streaker would barely raise an eyebrow in Manchester. He's 13. Okay, one eyebrow is all we can spare though. My uncle. I'd tell his wife about how he used to abuse me, molest my sister, and tried to fuck my sister's friend who was 15 at the time and he was in his late 20s. 
My sister dropped charges against him, so he never registered as a sex offender. Even better. Turn yourself into the police and give detailed accounts of what he did to you in a written confession that says, I just can't live with this guilt anymore, make sure you are on camera in the police station. This would be mine for sure. The guy has absurd luck. He is a repeat sexual predator who has never been brought in front of a judge or magistrate. Lack of witnesses, women too scared to testify. I'd go straight to the local station, light a cigarette in the queue and demand to see the inspector and provide the same confession he gave me. Jesus, these break my heart and piss me off at the same time. Sorry that's all I got. People who people who haven't people who haven't